I think that this kind of vision of China in black and white, uh, or only a dictatorship or, or a socialist paradise, I think it's really tricky for us to, to talk about China. And especially when we talk about technology, of course, Communist Party, his propaganda is very important to understand why Chinese people accept a lot of things that happens in China. But we have also to register that something is changing. I was writing the book just before the pandemic. Uh, I put just one chapter in the end of the book because of uh, pandemic, the last minute. China used a lot of these uh, technological tools. Not only this, of course, it was a mix of things uh, that China used to struggle against the pandemic. But uh, before the pandemic, there was a big discussion in China uh, in, in what we can call civil society. That is really, it's not civil society like our civil society, but there are discussion on social media, on the university, how to manage this technological process, especially in terms of data collection. For example, in these last uh, weeks, uh, in some cities, there, was, there were protests against the surveillance system in, because people start asking who managed these data, where these data are going, what are you doing with my data? And just yesterday, the CCTV, that is the official Chinese television, so it's completely controlled by the party, realized a reportage on a video camera put in the shops. And they discovered that uh, these video cameras are uh, used by the, the shop without the permission of people to register all the things they are doing in the shop. It, it, it is marketing, of course, but uh, in a country like uh, China, in which the Communist Party wants to control 24 hours uh, uh, Chinese people, we are talking about a lot of data, a lot of data. And uh, Chinese people, I think is going to struggle against this. There is something different from uh, some years ago. Public opinion that uh, is starting to uh, ask uh, where these data are going and why these data are collected. But of course, uh, the Communist Party use a lot of these things uh, as, us as usual. And now the Communist Party is having a struggle against the big platform. So they used public opinion also to punish some of these big companies, for example, Alibaba or Pinduoduo for the overworking problems that have in the last period. A lot, two people died because of overworking with this platform. So in China, it's really hard to separate what's happening really and what's happening because Chinese Communist Party wants to happen. And a lot of times the Communist Party used uh, public opinion to drive some process. Uh, 